For today's story, we talk about a woman who's decided not to wear her mask on a plane and decided to yell, let's go Brandon on a plane. Repercussions ensue. Hello everyone and welcome to One Civil Law, where we learn through the misfortunes of others. As always, I hope you enjoy this legal educational content and today may be the day I earn your subscription. For today's coverage, we are talking about a woman named Katrina Ausfa. Katrina over here doesn't want to wear a mask on a plane. Now, as a matter of law, aircraft are governed by federal law because they cross many, many state lines. They're governed by the FAA and federal regulations. And the federal government has put in place a mask mandate on planes. So regardless of whatever your state says, the state can't influence federal policy and vice versa for that matter. So the federal government says you have to wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, the federal government will whack you over the head. Well, now we have the story of a woman who decided to be really, really disruptive and is gonna get criminally charged for not wearing a mask in violation of federal law. So let's discuss this. Plane passenger goes maskless yells, let's go Brandon, and gets arrested in Las Vegas. And she seems very, very happy. A woman in Las Vegas was removed from an airplane and arrested this week after police said she refused to wear a mask and caused disturbance on board the flight. Police said the woman later identified as Katrina screamed, let's go Brandon, as she's being escorted out of the airport on Saturday. According to the report, the troubles began before she even made it through the initial airport security checkpoint. There was trouble afoot early in the process. An arrest report from Las Vegas obtained by the newspaper reportedly said that officers responded to security checkpoint after Alsfalf got into a verbal argument with another passenger, got into an argument in the waiting line, presumably about masks, I would guess. The other passenger asked them to wear a mask in the airport. When she refused, the other passenger reported them refusal to security. Now, again, I don't know what the law is in Nevada or Las Vegas, so I don't know whether or not their airport requires masks or not or whatever, but you know, when in Rome, wear the mask. The argument quickly escalated and the person alleged that she made a motion with her fist if she was attempting to punch someone. When officers arrived, Alsfav was reportedly uncooperative and refused to provide the police with an ID. However, she was rarely released and allowed to proceed with her flight after the other passenger recordedly declined to press charges in the matter. So yeah, we have this possibility of assault here in the legal definition of the word, right? We have this, we have this woman here who is in an escalating verbal match with another person in the line and potentially raising their fist in some sort of gesture of harm. So we're beginning to think to ourselves, okay, maybe we're in the territory of assault, which those of you who have been watching this channel know is the mere apprehension of fear. When you actually hit someone, it's called battery. Assault is when you merely threaten harm. Of course, the harm has to be immediate and reasonable. And maybe in the context of the words and maybe in the context of a gesture, we can get to assault. But the other woman doesn't want to file a complaint. So she's not a complaining witness. So without the complaining witness, it's gonna be a pretty hard case to press. So they let her through security. All right, so that's what's happened so far. Alsfav boarded the Allegiant Airlines flight, but reportedly removed before the plane could leave the ground, resulting in PD officers being called a second time. Per the review journal, police said that a flight attendant on board the flight was forced to remove the woman for causing a disturbance. Yeah, you know, if you cause a disturbance, they don't have to carry you on the airplane. Um, they, they can refuse service as long as it's not on a protected class. And you being an ass is not a protected class. So they can, they can boot you off the plane. Yeah. Upon arriving at the Terminal 1 gate, the officers reportedly found her standing on a jet bridge connecting the plane to the airport. She was told by a gate agent that she was no longer a ticketed passenger because we just revoked her ticket for the misbehavior and she had to exit the terminal. But Alsfav reportedly became argumentative and it refused, you don't say. An airline representative had reportedly already issued Alsfav a trespass notice for her refusal to leave. So this appears to be just the formal notice of like, okay, you're now trespassing, you have to go. Right? Maybe this was in writing, maybe something else, but like the formal, like, yeah, you got to leave now. You're now trespassing and she's not leaving. And now she's in the second fight with this other agent. She's like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. You're no longer a ticketed passenger. 
You misbehaved on the flight. They kicked you off the flight. That's over now. So now you're not taking the passenger. So now you have to leave. She doesn't want to leave. It's not going great. As she was being escort, escorted out of the airport by police in a wheelchair, Al's Fav reportedly yelled obscenities and let's go Brandon. Police said that her conduct only added to the disturbance and she was taken to custody. She's facing one count of violating airport rules under Clark County ordinance. She's born in the detention center there. So that brings us to the end of this story about this woman named Katrina, but I think we can call her Karen. It's a pretty Karen haircut with the, with the eyes. And she definitely, definitely is looking at me like she wants to see the manager. I'll tell you what, if she's looking at me with those hairs and those eyes, I'll let her talk to any manager she wants. Holy God, man, just stop looking at me. But yeah, this woman um, was fighting with people in the line and then kicked off the plane and told she had to leave, and now she's being arrested for violating the airport rules and trespass. So super fun times had by all. So that brings us to the end of the discussion of this story. Thank you so much for being part of the Uncivil Law family. If you enjoyed this legal education content, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. We appreciate your continuing support. Until later, my friends, cheers. And goodbye.